over here. So anyway, we're gonna create some PDF files, but um, first I'd just like to mention that I am using uh, Windows 11 64-bit Pro to run all the tools and the Python code. And the Python ver version I'm using is Python 3.11. Anyway, so um, let's take a look. So what are we talking about? Well, we're talking about the um, ability of this print, this logic analyze to print stuff and um, what it prints is that it prints stuff from each of the selected operational pages and um, you can bring up the I.O. menu on top of uh, one of the main displays and then you can either s select print screen or print all now um, what print, uh, print all doesn't have a function in all the displays, but in some of the displays there is, in addition to the actual screen here, there's like setting information or other values that might be of interest. So then when you say print all, it prints a print screen of this um, display, or the current display, and then it prints all the extra information also. Well, this logic analyzer only has um, one serial port. And this is a 25 pin serial port, and it's um, to be able to connect on. Yeah, the, the main objective is to connect in a laser jet printer, HP laser jet printer, which actually has a serial uh, port on it. And uh, those used to be very common yeah, in the late 80s, into the 90s. And nowadays, you'd be very hard put to find such a printer. So anyway, when you actually say print, then um, the data starts flowing through the serial cable and it's up in my temporary adapter. And um, this is actually a very simple serial communication. So out from the uh, logic analyzer, you have uh, you have three three um, wires, and one of them is ground, one of them is send, and one of them is receive. And then here I have a, a, a serial to USB adapter. And this is just a null modem adapter <laughs> to, to be able to change from um, uh, male to female. So I can actually connect these temporary wires. And then also here, as you see, I've connected in a oscilloscope probe so I can actually look at the traffic. And that's what it looks like when you haven't got the correct equipment you end up building um, temporary solutions on top of <laughs> soap powder, empty soap powder um, canister. Oh, anyway, we'll be fixed over time. And then the other end of the serial to USB adapter it just goes into the yeah, into a USB port on the computer. So anyway, I just thought I'd give a helpful hint here. Now you have the, if you go into the device manager, search for it and then you look at ports common LPT then um, you get a list of all the um, COM ports you have and, and, and sometimes it's a bit difficult to know when you're plugging in and plugging out these serial to USB adapters though which one is the one that you're actually targeting so but the easiest thing to do is if you lose track of it is just to um, disconnect the <coughs> USB adapter in question and then it will disappear from this list and when you plug it in it will come back again so I know it's this one here uh, with COM6. It's got a nice clear knife. Let's have a look at the I.O. setup on the analyzer. So we go to the I.O. menu, I.O. port configuration. So here we see the different settings. So, um, and I'll put these in the in the comments of the video, of course. But um, here you can see that the protocol is none. And in this case, this analyzer only supports Exxon XL, which is a software-based um, transfer protocol control mechanism, or then none. So it has no possibility to use hardware-based flow control. And then it's 8 bits, 1 stop bits, parity is none, and 19, a whole 19,200 bouts of speed. And as you see, that we have the printer's um, ThinkJet. That's the option. Anyway, here we have the scope, so it might be of academic interest to 
actually print screen so we can see the traffic. So here's the serial traffic. And I have a, this is a digital oscilloscope and I can trigger on um, UART traffic, so that's why it's actually a stable, so no stable picture. And, and this is actually useful because then one doesn't have to wonder if um, the serial port is actually sending something at all. <laughs> Didn't have the scope or other tools, then um, you might wonder is it working at all. So another way to look up the traffic is to um, use PuTTY just as a diagnostic tool. So, so I've set up PuTTY here, um, COM6 19200 baud. And you have the um, serial um, data here, so it's the same setting, 8 to 1, parity none, flow control map. And then we have an empty console, stop the printing. So basically this is like two yeah, the oscilloscope method just to see that something's coming over and then um, putty. Uh, this data is binary data that's coming over, so it, it's not that the settings are wrong. So you, you shouldn't expect um, expect um, ASCII values. But anyway, so I just show that. At least you know something's coming over. Here's the utility that I built. Um, we'll look at it in a little bit more detail later. But, um, it's basically you run it in one folder and then you just say Python. And, um, you know, the file as you usually do with most other Python program. And um, what this does is that it um, first clears all the buff buffers and then um, removes all old working files on it. It stops here waiting, and then um, then you need to go to the logic analyzer, and then you initiate a, a print, and then you have to wait for it to um, wait for the logic analyzer to say that it's um, completed. So when the logic analyzer says that it's done, or it stops saying that it's printing, then um, and you press enter. To exit the um, capture loop, and then what it does is that it actually creates the um, PDF file using the uh, conversion tool that I found. So here we have a ready-made PDF, and I'll actually show that. And then also the it will ask you, do you want to like um, capture more um, print screens, or would you just like to exit? Well, anyway, here we have the print screen, and so if you take print all, then you might actually get more than uh, one page of um, yeah, of prints. And um, the thing that I found is that if you the question why I'm using X on X off none is that. Um, when you actually use the function print all, then it seems to mess up the um, PCF file. Well, the file that's captured from the wire seems to be somehow gets corrupted. So I found the system to be 100% reliable if I don't use the, the um, software handshake. And the speeds are very low, so I really doubt that the, at least on the computer size, there's, there's no no probability that it won't be able to keep up. <laughs> so I'll just give a very brief overview. It's, I mean, the program isn't that complicated. But, um, you come into the main, and then it will set up the serial port, and then I've actually added the comment about the um, usage of the Exxon XOF. And at least in my case, the, as I said, that when you, if you have this activated and you use this print all function, then it seems to corrupt the the file and all the data coming along the line. Now I'll just clear the buffers, set up some working file names, move all, all working files, 
And actually here's the main loop where it's um, it opens the um, input file and, and um, starts inputting data acro across the line and that continues until the logic analyzer is completed and, and, and you are responsible for breaking this. So that's why you have that press enter when, when the logic analyzer says that it's done. So it closes the file. And it um, actually executes the PCL to PDF conversion, and then it um, re it creates a copy of the file with a date and time, so you can actually um, keep a track of when did you create those um, print screens. Uh, and then it's uh, just a continuation loop thing that if you say okay, you want to take another one or or, or just exit, so it's very very short and concise application and um, this is available on github so I'll, I'll put a link in the um, comments if you want to pick the code up so anyway, I hope you enjoyed this um, video and if you have a logic analyzer of, of, of the same type or actually this will probably work with uh, I, I would uh, yeah, not without testing, I don't know, but any any of the HP logic analyzers that are using um, the serial port to print to a laser jet printer, and then, then the same capture logic will actually work. I do know that the new, uh, some newer models of HP logic analyzers, you actually have a uh, command language where you can actually send a command to the logic analyzer to take a print screen and it will create it in a um, bitmap file that you can then you actually go and tell it to give you the bitmap file so it's a little bit more advanced but um, yeah but this is raw printer capture so um, you know yeah it, it might actually work for other logic analyzers but I'll keep it under the name of my logic analyzer since I actually have one of those and I was able to test it so but I, th I hope that, um, and I've actually been using this um, on and off for, yeah, for a while now, and um, I, I haven't noticed any side effects or it crashing or the bitmaps ends up being wrong, other than the usage of the Exxon Exxon, Exxon which I found for print all. It seems to be, yeah, I, I, haven't, I haven't noticed any stability issues. Well, anyway, we will um, create more cool stuff. See you in the next one.